hey welcome back guys so we have uh, intuition about decision tree now how it works and we have already seen uh, with a sample example how you can execute it manually now we are going to do it uh, via our sklearn library so we don't have to write the complete algorithm for decision tree we just need to call out the uh, decision tree library and that will just make our work do so let's take uh, the very famous uh, iris data set if you're someone who is quite new to machine learning then let me tell you that iris data set is a very famous data set and uh, you will always uh, check or find many blogs online okay so let's start it out so first let's start out by importing all the libraries that we need so as we know pandas we will be needing pandas so let's import pandas as pd let's import numpy numpy as np uh, the next thing is uh, let's import matplotlib and cbot our visualization library so matplotlib dot pyplot as plt it's plt and let's do it matplotlib matplotlib inlet okay now one just know one thing that whenever i'm coding it out every each and every video uh, for the coding sessions are something which are hands-on so make sure if you could just uh, open out your laptop behind and you can code around with me okay so i have imported pandas numpy matplotlib let me import cbot as sns let's check if there are any errors or not yeah luckily there are no errors while importing the next thing which we need is to load the data set so as i've told you we are going to use the very famous iris data set so for that uh, we have the iris data set already in the cborn library okay so we can just call from sklearn dot data sets import load iris let's check if it's fine or not so yeah it's completely fine let's check what we have in load irish okay so you can see that we have a array of uh, different numbers now what are these we need our data in a csv format sort of a pandas data frame right so let's convert all of these into our pandas data frame uh, let's look into the target name first of all data dot target names okay. oops uh, let's load irish and let's look into the target names so uh, these are the target names or the ones that we have to predict out so we are creating a classification algorithm okay what it will do is it will take a uh, difference uh, different features uh, sepal length uh, sepal width petal length petal width and then here are the three classes from which we have to classify them okay using these kind of information so let's check out the target dot target okay so here are the uh, corresponding values okay each line for the first line the answer is zero because okay, what is zero zero is uh, setosa one is uh, versicolor and two is virginica virginica okay i'm sorry if my pronunciation just went wrong okay so the first line 5.1 3.5 1.4 and 0 0.2 denotes that it belongs to the setosa class okay now uh, we have target target names and now let's look into the feature names what are the feature names dot so i'll just write feature names so yeah here are the feature names so we have four features sepal length with length and width of pet, uh, petal okay and here are the four values of each and every row okay now let's create a data frame out of it okay so first of all let's load the data data equals to load irish okay let's load it so the data is loaded 
now let's create our data set so our data set name will be irish and let's create pd dot data frame what we are going to pass in we are going to pass in data dot data okay okay there's a typo now let's check look at irish so we have irish okay uh now what we need is the next step is we need to uh, name this out okay zero one two three so for that i will do is irish dot columns is equal to data dot uh, we are a function feature names so let's copy it paste it out over here and now let's check irish so here we have a data set the next thing we need is the target column or the target uh, feature okay so the target feature was our uh, this one target name so it was a very uh, very c color and vajinika right yeah, uh, again sorry if my pronunciation just went wrong so i need to uh, store out the target variable in a new column that i shall name it as irish and in that i will write class equal to data dot target okay. this will be working just fine let's check it out so we have created our data set so here is our data set new data set this is our iris data set and this data set has in total five columns okay. in total we have five five columns or five features okay or four features and one target class from these four features we are going to uh, take help from these four features and help uh, which will help us eventually to predict what kind of class it belongs to okay and there are three classification target classes okay so let's jump into our next video in our next video we are going to start with the eda part okay so let's jump into the next video